Light! <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> what happened to the pop star that did a show for an audience of cannibals? <laughs> he went down really well. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> It's an epidemic. Is it? <laughs> Hope it's not catching. No, you plum. This celebrity luck. It's celebrity this, celebrity that, celebrity the other. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. Huh? Celebrity war zone. <laughs> Ten celebs get shot at by a load of TV execs. The last one standing gets their own series. And a load of dosh. <laughs> You'll never catch me cashing in on my almost legendary celebrity status, <laughs> ever. Good for you, Basil. I mean, it's only money after all. Hmm. Lots of it, but who needs it? Here's your bill. Well... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I suddenly feel the urge to cash in on my almost legendary blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'll get onto my television contacts immediately. They'll be awaiting my call. <laughs> No, the one with the brush. No, never heard of you. Must have the wrong number. Have a nice day. Have a nice day yourself. Bye-bye. Mm. Didn't know who I was. Oh, you're still a celebrity to us, Basil. <laughs> Listen, Basil, I've been thinking. I've still got an in at Label Cable, our local cable channel. Tell me more. Well, we have a celebrity, you. Oh, you're making me blush. Go on. So we could do our own celebrity show. Right here. Um, no. We want to do one of those things when you throw a load of people into the jungle and hope they row a lot. But we haven't got a jungle. Well, we haven't mown the garden for a year and a half. Hmm? Yeah, and we planted it with that stuff that makes the garden look bigger. What's that? Magnifying grass. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> We're in business, but we need more celebs. Mm. I'll talk to my celebrity clientele. I'll put a sign up in the window. Celebrities wanted for new show. Apply within. My name's Jason Puree. Originally from Australia. I'm, um, 23 years old. And why do you want to be on our new celebrity TV show, Celebrity Bushwhack? Well, basically, Baz to revive me flagging pop career, which has been on the skids since me only hit single, Tropical Dream Girl. What a load of old rubbish. Eight years ago. <laughs> Any other reason? Well, my love life's also a bit of a mess, and I was hoping to cop off with some model out there in the jungle. <laughs> Good enough for me. You're in, mate. <sighs> Good day. So how many have you got now? Well... The voiceover man's done nothing this episode, so maybe he could remind us. Contestant number one, you've just seen him washed up Australian pop star Jason Pure. Get out! Jason's looking for love. And number two, glamour girl Nell McMuffin. Nell's been a Daily Bugle page four favourite for at least a week and now wants to be an actress. Well, I'll just run round in my bikini a bit. And, and cry a lot if it gets a bit horrible. And straight in at number three is ex-Olympic wrestling gold medalist, Hasiba Worthington. Attractive Hasiba loves animals. Aye, the jungle presents no threat to me, cos I love animals. Pigs, snakes, even crocodiles. But I don't think I could eat a whole one. <laughs> And our one A-list celeb. He's the most popular fox on the box. Mr. Bob Bob himself, Basil Brush! But, uh, is that all? Four celebrities, including me. Well, celebs are a bit thin on the ground, Basil. What you really need is one of those micro-celebrities who's only been on telly for a couple of minutes, is childish, looks stupid, and winds everyone else up to the point of distraction. You're in! Yeah. 
think we've done a pretty good job of junglifying the garden. Yeah, for real, Ma. It's just so jungle. I'll just let out these bugs. and welcome to Celebrity Bushwhack. Over the next few weeks, we're going to find out just who is boss of the bush. Our first celebs are just arriving now. <laughs> just waiting for the other two contestants. I wonder where they are. Are you sure parachuting in is the best way, Basil? Oh, yes. I've seen them do it before. Makes great telly. And 20 feet is high enough? See, Miss Nell, I've been in the biz for years. So if I can give you a helping paw up the slippery slope of shoe, it... Oi! Put her down, you two. Your tea's ready. <laughs> it's the bezel bushwhack surprise. <laughs> Great, mate. I'm starving, Marvin. Mm. What's the surprise? That it's completely inedible. <laughs> 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 boom, boom, boom. I like it. I want seconds. Looks like you've had thirds, love. <laughs> Just found out the other bit of Basil's bushwhack surprise. I should give it five minutes. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Smells like a, a wombat died in the danny. <laughs> Morning, campers. I've had a really bad dream. Can I talk to you about it? There were big skeletons with bitey teeth and a scary lady with spidery legs. In fact, a little goodnight kiss would make it all go away. Do the same thing, you filthy beast. I swapped hammocks with Miss Nell to save her from the creepy crawlies. <laughs> Obviously, a necessary precaution. Although I didn't expect anything quite so creepy or crawly. <laughs> Nighty night. Well, it's 8.29, day two. And it's time for me to go out into the jungle and set the first Bush Nosh Challenge. <laughs> Morning, all. Morning, Morning, Dave. Morning, Morning, Dave. Dave. OK. I have here the first Bush Nosh Trial. You can choose who does the trial from amongst yourselves. Good luck. I'm off for a bacon sarnie. <laughs> The uh, chosen contestant has to strip to their pants and crawl through the swamp to retrieve a quantity of jelly babies hanging from the holly on the other side. Then crawl back, avoiding the flesh-eating koi carp and poisonous leeches. Each jelly baby returned converts to a meal for one contestant. Oh, 
and you've got 20 seconds in which to do it. Don't look at me, I can't do it. Me hair can't get wet. Jimmy contract. No, we need someone more manly. Any volunteers? Bye. Yay! Yay! Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it! Hooray! <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Look smelly. Oh. Oh, that's got to hurt. Who put that nail there? That holly looks prickly. Oh, Ooh, nasty. Go on, Stevie boy. Grab them all. Let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> Jelly, baby. <laughs> if it's any consolation, they were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, no dinner in the jungle then. That should shake things up a bit. Let's see who's most popular with you, our viewing public. There's Basil, most popular fox in the box, still at the top with 75% of the votes. Then Nell, then Jason, then Asim. In last place with 1%, Mr. Stephen, <laughs> voted for only by his mum and the most obvious candidate for eviction. Let's see how that pans out now Basil's eating everyone's dinner. From Celebrity Bushwhack, it's goodbye. These phones never stop. Those calls are our bread and butter. Say what? Simple economics lesson. Each punter that rings in represents a quid in our pocket. And we must have had about 100,000 calls already. Like they say. You do the math. Wow. We're rich. This TV business is easy. What we need is more good ideas. How about celebrity crochet? I like it. Name that horse. Good. Mud in your eyes. Hamster yeah. football. Star dog sing. Death swap. Cat swimming. Port by challenge. <laughs> That's my oyster. It's me they vote out tomorrow. <laughs> Though I secretly hope they don't. <laughs> Probably will be. You're not very popular. <laughs> uh. Oh, how did you know? I like him. He got the jelly babies. That's it. Listen, Neil. I reckon all are. Terrible experiences out here in the jungle have brought us closer together. Have they? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, if you say so. I've written a song about it, which hopefully some sharp eared producer will hear and release when we're out of the jungle. I call it Ego Mania. And it goes a little bit like this. I'm sitting in the jungle In my butt there's a pain, yeah Cause everybody's talking about me Or is it just ego oh, 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 mania Thank <laughs> you.
now. Listen, I'm sure I'm going to be chucked out tomorrow. Can I talk to you about it? I just want you to know how I feel. Would a good night kiss be out of the question? <laughs> Come here! Ah! Put a sock in it, Jason. I can't hear myself read. Listen, Miss Nell. What? You've been chosen to do the next Bush Nosh challenge. Go, Nell! All she has to do is put a spider in her pants and eat a worm. No way! Oh, come on, Nell! We're all starving! We are! We are! I've been out with some worms before in my time. But I am not eating one. So I losers. I'm out. <laughs> well, surprise result there. Not only is the glamour gone, but the bushwhackers are gonna get even hungrier as no one else can pick up the challenge. Four days without food now, and it's eviction day. Not <laughs> gonna eat a scabby dog. Ah! Well, don't look at me. My rash cleared up. And don't look at him either. He may look meaty, but he's all cogs and springs. <laughs> Hello, bushwhackers. It's eviction time, Basil. It's not you. Hooray! <laughs> Stephen. Please let it be me. It's not you. <laughs> Receiver. It might be you. Is it? <laughs> no, it's Jason. And Jason Puree kindly leave the jungle. Hi, Jason. How are you? Glad to be out, mate. I'm starving. Well, there's a complimentary full Indian breakfast coming your way, sponsored by Anil's Cat. <laughs> but quickly, what are your feelings about the experience? Well, the fox, Baz, is a tough little cookie. He seems to be breezing it while everyone else is starving. I don't think Steve-O's going to last much longer. He's weak from lack of food. Really? Yep, I think he picked up a touch of swamp fever. And Haseba is determined to nurse him. And that would make anyone ill. Don't forget to buy the record, kids. Get out. A few upsets there. But that's all from Celebrity Bushwhack for now. Dave, you are so going to be, like, pleased with us. We've sold all our TV ideas. BBC 26 wants that smiley oyster. And Label Cable want to make our new celeb cookery show, Devil's Larder, like, as soon as possible in this very studio. So to save money, we're going to make it in our own kitchen. Like your style. Let's get to work. <laughs> Thank goodness I had the good sense to nip back inside and get my emergency supply of jelly babies. Kept me from starvation. Now, where's Mr. Stephen when I need him? Not your Stephen! My Stephen, no! What? Come on, Stephen! You live in my house, no! Oh, blame me. The sheep has gone native forward slash nuts. And Mr. Stevens delirious with hunger and gentle fever. I must help him out. But I must wait for the cover of night. That was quick. Well, we couldn't wait three hours. You're already on page 40 of the script. Now get on with it. All right, all right. Give me a mo to lay a trail of bait to lure her off a nest. You love me. Later, Mr. Stephen. Run over. Please, Dad! 
Criminal waste of jelly babies. But a hungry Hasiba won't be able to resist the trail. Hasiba! Grabs up! Fart! She's taken the bait! And fallen into the trap I dug for her! <laughs> now for the daring rescue bit! Well, Stephen O'Chan, I hope you realize the daring Basil oh, sacrificed the last of his secret stash of jelly babies to rescue you. <laughs> jelly babies? Eight jelly babies. And if that selfless act of heroism doesn't win me the blinking series, then I must be a complete turkey. Turkey. It's turkey. Mr. Stephen, why are you looking at me like that? Lovely. Turkey. <laughs> Help, I've been masticated. <laughs> Let me in. I've been cannibalized. <laughs> Peeled, chopped, and roasted alive. If they don't do what they're told by our celebrity chef, Rude Gordon Ramsbottom. <laughs> now, let's bring out our first celebrity contestant. Oh, oh, oh! Ow! <laughs> oh, out of the fire into the blooming frying pan. I've had as much of this celebrity lark as I can take. Yeah! <laughs> Think you're famous? Where's your apron? Get skinning this chicken, or I'll skin you. You got the wrong bloke. I can't cook. The, the last time I did a chicken, it really tickled the pellet. I left the feathers on. <laughs> yes, chef! Yes, chef. And when you've done that, get peeling the spots, or it's fillet de fox on crout. <sighs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds rather painful. Yes, chef! Yes, chef! Oh, I'm... If those two cannibals outside don't get me, this one will have me for dinner. Ha ha ha! Pull back! Show me about your brush, Basil. Mm. He didn't get it with a cleaver, did he? Oh no. I caught it in the oven door when I popped the meat in. Singed every single hair off. <laughs> Listen, uh, thanks for curing me of that flesh eating zombie business. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. All part of the service, Mr. Stephen. But uh, what happened to poor old Hasiba? Oh, don't worry about her. She got snapped up to star in one of Dave's new TV shows. What not to look like. <laughs> Enough, Mr. Stephen. You won't catch me on another reality TV show as long as I live. Uh, Basil? Good evening and welcome to Celebs in Their Beds. <laughs> no! 